Hey, what's up, yo? I'm Kari. I'm a rapper. I'm from Providence, Rhode Island. I got started in music back when I was like 16, 17. My brother, he used to rap. He'd like sneak me in the clubs. I'd be his hype man. And um, I like eventually learned to record myself. And I was like, oh, I can really just express myself on my own. And then um, just dove digger, deeper into that. Just felt like a cool outlet to channel my emotions and thoughts. Yeah, the phenomenon. Ross nigga out, god damn, I forgot to put it. Intern Aquarium, I dropped that in 2016, right? I um I, I live in New York. Um I've been living there for five years now, but when I first moved to New York, I started interning. And um I met a lot of other people going through similar struggles, trying to get on, trying to chase their dreams and stuff. Uh, I was also working two part-time jobs at the same time, doing other freelance stuff to live and afford New York. I wanted to make this sort of college dropout-esque version of that, but for interning, because I feel like a lot of people are going through it, and a lot of millennials frustrated with their future and trying to chase these things they're unsure of and deciding if they're going to dive into it. So I don't know, I took like the good and the bad and just put it together in this project that a lot of people like somehow. That's crazy. I haven't said that yet. So when I used to intern at Vader, they would. Uh, I had chances to like apply for positions and interviews and stuff while I was there because I was there for a while. Everyone liked me because um, I'm amazing, of course. But uh, <laughs> nah, um, I would do this thing where I would sit in the mail room so I could learn how the mail room activate uh, operated, and then um, I would sit at the front desk so I, I could fill in for the mail room guy when he wasn't there, and I get paid, but I'm not technically working like a editorial position at Vader. Just kind of. And they go that. I was chilling in the mail room one time with the mail dude. And then um, I think Scissor's Z album dropped earlier that, or EP dropped earlier that year. She be, before she announced she was signed to TD. Might even be before she was signed. But they came through with, uh, I think it was December. And they were thanking people for supporting their projects. So they were going office to office and dropping off cupcakes. And then, uh, yeah, I met her then. That was like the first time I met her. Since then, I've, I've just run to her at shows, just like randomly. She's cool. As, she's just real cool. She's like, if you're like next, like I met her mom, she was like just backstage at a show. She's like, yeah, it's my mom. Whatever, but she is cool. Cool experience to see people. And this was back in like 2012. I think I'm cursed because I want to stay. Love and Anchors, um, that was a tough time in between moving to uh, deciding if I was going to drop out of school and um, moving to New York. Um, I uh, just going through a lot, so I wanted to make a project that reflected that. Pretty way more depressing. I probably should never release it. Probably should just been a project I made for me, because it was very therapeutic to go through. But um, yeah, I, I I came up with the title just based off of like love is love, whether it's relationships or family or whatever. It's um, it's something that can lift you up, but it's also something that can hold you down or hold you back. Uh, and that's where the anchors comes in, so I feel like life is full of love and, and anchors that we mistake as love are things we should be holding on to at the time. Sometimes you gotta know when to let certain things go. <laughs> Hopefully my social media name and they follow me. But uh, I don't know, I think I make music, I, I thought about this the other day, I feel like I make music for millennials and I really hate that term. It's just like so... But... I make music for people like in their 20s, like late 18, like 18 to maybe like 30, just trying to figure out their way in life. And I hopefully someone just feels inspired by me just being me on stage. I don't, I think I, I, mean, I, I have a cool performance, but it's not like completely traditional. I kind of throw jokes and stuff in the middle and I um, just try and give me in a, a, just like 100% and hopefully that inspires someone or to be themselves, I guess. The loft is weird. 